what is going on guys? We are back today for another video. I found my old glasses. These old wreckety ones right here. I actually like these better than my actual glasses that I have now. But when I got my new glasses, Ethan destroyed these, so they're kind of like bent a little bit, but I, they still fit me pretty good. Right now, I am packing up all this old camera stuff, and I'm sending it to the guy who bought me old camera right here. My my second, my first real, real camera. I mean, this this is what I've filmed on for the past six, seven months. I got it last May, at the end of May, right before he moved, yeah. Because I wanted something documented on it. And this really what what started it. And yeah, I got this smaller camera, better camera. I'm going to have to be careful since I don't have a backup camera now. But yeah, I got a steal on a 460. I, I was only selling for 360. This guy offered 460. And he only lives a couple hours away, but he wants me to ship it to him. So it's not going to cost $100 to ship it. So yeah. Probably with insurance, maybe, but yeah. I'm gonna steal on all this, selling that, and yeah. We got some more exciting stuff coming in the next couple weeks, guys. Probably in the next month or two, we got some really exciting stuff. Animals, you know, stuff coming to the farm, you know. Okay, guys, so I thought I would sit down and basically tell you guys how I got started on YouTube and, like, what motivated me to start it. So, it all started when I was in, it was last year, in seventh grade, we had a project in my reading class, and we had to like create a video or something and I realized like wow it's really fun to do this and it was really easy just like we found these like editing programs on the iPhone and I found that it was so easy to do it and like after I found that I was like oh my gosh I've always wanted to do this and I had like filmed videos in the past and I'd kind of uploaded them to YouTube you just weren't really edited together but I figured out how easy it was and I was like why well, haven't done this so yeah it was probably September of 2018 I, yeah 2018 and I started filming on my iPhone 5 which is in my iPhone 5 but I, I can't find I still have somewhere I just don't know where it's at so yeah I started filming on this and yeah it was worked out pretty well for a while and I, about up till November of that year is my birthday I really beg I beg my parents for a GoPro GoPro and I got this GoPro Hero 6 right here and yeah so yeah I filmed and then I got this and I filmed on this and I edited it on my iPhone 5 and I did that and I filmed a lot of videos on there and I still use this GoPro all the time and about after filming on the GoPro for a long time, like I had a big setup, microphone, everything for forever on the GoPro. Like it was more, it was like six, seven months, I feel like. But I filmed so many videos with that. And then I got my iPhone, well, this is just the case, but this is, I got an iPhone X, XR. And yeah, I filmed that. I filmed that for like a couple months. And I, and I was like, Ugh. I really don't want to buy a new camera, but I didn't like the idea of filming on my phone. It just seemed pretty unprofessional to me. Then I made my first big camera purchase, and I bought this Canon T6, which is like an entry-level DSLR camera, video camera, you know, whatever. And yeah, which is what I'm selling right now. I'm about to package it up and send it to the post office, but yeah. And then I bought that right in May of last year, 2019. So if I could film or moving and stuff and I filmed a lot on that not as much as I would really liked honestly I, I When I think about it, I think I filmed more on my GoPro than I did this But when I was when I first got my GoPro I was really motivated to film and I filmed all the time when I got this it was like traveling like it, it There was just so much stuff that I really didn't have time to focus on filming with this camera but I it, this camera really helped me like I think some of my most viewed videos are filmed on this camera right here, and yeah, yeah. This this is probably yeah. If it wasn't for that that project we had to do in Miss Tomlinson's class, I would not have made a YouTube channel. And I, you know. So yeah, thankful for that. And but yeah, that that that's how I started YouTube and all the cameras I had. And now that brings us to present day, where I have my Can Canon G7X, little tiny guy, but works perfectly most expensive camera i have best camera i have and i love it how i started youtube ah!
been super warm out the past couple days. I don't even need this jacket on, but I'm a wussy, so yeah. I think it was yesterday at 60 degrees, so yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys the exciting news in a minute about the animals, but I, I can hardly contain myself about it, so I gotta tell you guys, so you're not waiting. I'm super excited. I just can can hardly contain it. But anyways, yesterday's I caught up the logs that I had brought to the side of the driveway and had left there for like two months. So I cut that up and there was one one end it had ants in it. So I got rid of that, but they were like all over. They were all over me, and I was like, oh my god, this sucks and they bit me and stuff. Not as bad as fire ants, but they still hurt. Hi, hi, get down. Uh uh, get down. You know the drill. No jumping. So yeah, we have the four-wheeler under the deck right now for a good reason. So the chickens were in the regular part of the barn, but they're not now. Now in this part where we used to keep the four-wheeler and the lawnmowers, but we're going to move them out. Eventually, they're going to get a chicken coop. But if the chickens are in that part, what's going to go in the big barn part? Well, let me tell you. So, now that we're in here, I'm gonna tell you guys that we are getting two horses. Yes, okay. I, I'm so excited. I just like, I found these two horses and it's just, I'll, I'll explain more to you guys once we actually get them, but it, it, it's, something happened. It's like a miracle that I found them and everything that just lined up by the grace of God or something like that. I don't even know. But yeah, it's just, it's a really cool story. Anyways, yeah, I'll explain more of that to you guys once we go pick them up and get them. It'll probably be two weeks to a little over a month before we go get them, which is okay. It gets time for grass to grow so we don't have to get bring the hay down and stuff like that. But yeah, we're getting two horses. One stall, two stall for two horses. The place they're coming from is not nearly as, or is way better than our barn, but it's, but it's 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 it's, 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 it's okay. So yeah, but yeah. That's why I moved the chickens over there. We really didn't have to do it yet, but I just was bored, so I decided, decided to do it yesterday. And yeah, I'm like super excited. We're getting two horses, and yeah, they can they can. They're not saddle trained yet, but I'm gonna saddle train them, which shouldn't be too hard. Oh, the chickens are back in here. Yay! Shouldn't be too hard, but they're trained for our driving, and so yeah, that should be pretty fun. Now I'm gonna get these chickens out of here, and yeah. Stay tuned guys, cause we're gonna have some fun videos this summer with these horses, and I'm super excited, cause I just like taking care of horses. Man eight, nope, nope, get, go, get out, get out, go, bye bye. That thing looks fun to drive. Think if I go ask him to let me drive it? I don't think he will. Looked pretty fun though. There's so many potholes like right there. We live at the edge of the pavement and halfway at the end of our house is the dirt road. So it's really bumpy right there, but we don't drive that way very much. So it's not that big a deal. It does make a mess though, right on our, right in the, our, our driveway because people always splat or no, like the side of our yard. Anyways guys, this is close to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little short video. I think it was just a good informative video about what's been going on and what I'm really excited about. I thought I'd put that out there for you guys. Probably won't be getting them for another month or so, but yeah, I'm just like super excited. It's just going to be like a fun summer project to get them going. We can put them on a little card, a little carriage, you know, something like that. Should be pretty fun. I'm they're not saddle trained, but I'm gonna saddle train them. Um, yeah, they're really good horses when we went to look at them, and I'll explain more once we get them of like how basically I found them and like this the place they came from. Because the place, no matter how good a care I take care of these horses, they're, they're not gonna be take good as taken care of as they were at their current home. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Roll the outro. We'll see you in the next one.